Hey, this is Sayon Johnson, AKA the facilitator. I told you I was gonna bring you cars, toys, all those finer things in life. You aficionados, stay tuned. Ladies, stay tuned because there's gonna be some stuff you can get for your man. Guys, you know you have those ladies that smoke those cigars and look good doing it. So check this out. This is where I was last weekend and this is what I found out. Those wines, those scotch, those cognacs. I got some great footage for some featured cognac, some featured scotch, some single malt, some great wines coming out. Let me stop talking, take a look at this, and join as we move forward. Johnson with Cigars yeah. Under the Stars, the, the facilitator, and I'm here today with Trey. Trey, what, what's the company are you with today? I'm with the Spire Collection. The Spire Collection. And I'm a cigar guy, yeah. and what I'm doing today, I'm going around just trying to find out what goes great with cigars. A lot of my executives, yeah. would it be uh, from 5 in the afternoon, on a Saturday or a Sunday, they have friends over, great bottle to take over to, you know, to a friend's party. What do, what do you recommend? I, well, I'm a cigar lover myself. Um, my favorite cigars tend to be, um, I mean, you know, the occasional Cuban is beautiful, but I'm a real lover of Nicaraguan and Honduran cigars. Um, one of my favorites is the Padron 64 Anniversario. Woo, me, my man. Balance and power and length and complexity all in one package. For a cigar like that, Jessica Padron is going to love the fact that you said that, so go ahead. A cigar like that, <laughs> so, what are we talking about? So the two wines um, that I represent are both the state grown wines. They're very small production. They're both made by Chris Carpenter out in Napa, California. And this is a vin these are vineyards for which we own the soil. First is Mount Brave. This is from Mount Beater. It's very powerful. It's robust. It's very fruit driven. It's very floral. Um, this wine has been aged in wood for approximately 20 months. Uh, about 85% of that wood is new. It's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon grown at approximately 1,800 feet in elevation. Single vineyard, special stuff, perfect for that full body, kind of full throttle, complex, long cigar. The other wine I want to show you, this is a Napa icon. This winery has been in existence since the late 1800s, and this is La Hoda Winery. Um, this is also made by Chris Carpenter in Napa. Since the 1800s. Since the 1800s. This is one of America's oldest wineries. This winery uh, has existed on Howell Mountain. It's one of the cradles of winemaking in Napa Valley. Uh, this wine actually won a medal at the World's Fair in St. Louis in 1902. And when we purchased this winery, we actually re, kind of reassembled this label to mimic that bottle of 1902 La Hoda. That's basically what it looked like back then. Uh -huh. So this is made from grapes on, grown on Hell Mountain in our estate vineyards. This is predominantly Cabernet, but it's got a little bit of Cabernet Franc, a little Merlot. Little tiny splash of petite verdure. I was just going to ask you um, the, the taste. What, when, I, when I have a when I have a glass, what am I tasting? You know, the undertone. Uh, talk to me. Yeah, great question. Um, especially with this wine, you're going to notice number one the aromatics of this wine. It's the vineyard's completely surrounded by a, by a forest of redwoods and fir trees and pine trees, and you actually get a little bit of that kind of that, that pine or rosemary aroma with this wine. And because it's grown at 17 and 1800 feet in elevation. This wine has a natural acidity, which you can't you can't replicate. It shows its sense of place, which is the most special thing you can say about a bottle of wine. It's anything but generic. It's anything but the everyday. It's anything but average. It is truly exceptional. So if I know wine, I'm going to really appreciate this bottle. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yep. Okay. Um, it never hurts also that, um, you know, a, a lot of folks that may be seeing your blog or seeing this video probably know an awful lot about wine and maybe don't need to to follow critic scores quite so much, but sometimes critic scores are a beautiful thing. Um, Robert Parker rated this wine, Mount Brave, 92 points, and Robert Parker rated this vintage, this 2009 La Hoda, 94 points. Wow. So it never ever hurts also, just to put that out there. Either one of these, home run with a well-balanced, complex cigar. Perfect. 
Okay, listen. Thanks a lot. Once again, Sam Johnson at the trade Absolutely. show. Thanks, Trey. Happy to help. All right. Okay, I'm used to seeing or having my Grand Marnier, just regular, nice, double, smooth, or neat. But now I'm seeing here Talasia Sawyer. He's going to explain to me. He's with Grand Marnier. He's going to explain the cherry, the natural cherry Grand Marnier. Tell me about this. This is the same Grand Marnier you're used to, right? With a little twist. Made with European cherries, same smooth Grand Marnier, cognac flavor. Um, made with, you know, that same orange zest that's involved with it. The great thing about this is it has a code. You scan that with your phone and come up with some great recipes. And it goes well with any type of cognac cocktail that you normally would enjoy it with. Maybe a robust cigar, something All like right. that. Hold it steady. Enjoy it with. Right here from our page, you can actually go ahead, click on this, and scan it with your QR scanner, and you'll be able to see exactly the recipes and everything right here on Cigars Under the Stars. So you have the recipes right here from this from that barcode. Directly from the barcode. And, you know, 21 up, please drink this pop. This is that. Uh, all right. So let me ask you a question. So unlike the regular Grand Marnier, this is more of a mixer, but you can also have it just uh, chill. chill. You can have this chilled as well. This can also be chilled as well. Um, it depends on what you like. Some people, you can make it as a cocktail. We have a couple of different Grand Marnier cocktails. Grand Grand, uh, Grand Chopre mixed with either cranberry, um, a little bit of pineapple juice. Okay, I've never tried juice. it with, grand, um, with, with, um, with, with cranberry before. Yeah. And I'm a vodka cran my, uh, myself, so i got to check that out. Let me tell you something. We have something called a Grand Grand. It's a little bit of Grand Marnier, cranberry, um, lime juice. It's a great cocktail. Great summer cocktail. Great anytime cocktail. Actually. And this can be purchased here in Atlanta. You know, right. It's ready. You have, If it's here, you have it. It's ready. It's limited edition, but it's ready now. All right. Hey, listen. Get a couple of bottles for Christmas. All right. Get Grandma drunk. Get Grandpa drunk and watch a fight. All right. Here, Sayon Johnson. Cigars on the star. Okay, here this is Sayon Johnson. Cigars on the Star, the facilitator, and I'm here at the trade show in Atlanta, and basically we, everyone, come on guys, you all know about wild turkey. Everybody knows about wild turkey. I hear about it all the time. You gotta be, you know, under a rock not to know about this. And I'm here with Eddie Russell, and he's gonna go ahead and talk about wild turkey and what it entails, okay? So for those who don't know, this is a perfect education, and listen, it's right here, Russell Reserve. Eddie, please, educate me as if I don't know already about wild turkey. Well, wild tur turkey is a truly original type bourbon. It's big, it's bold, it's spicy. And like you said, if you, if you smoke a cigar, it's great with a cigar. Our rare breed is a barrel proof whiskey. Uh, I love a good Maduro wrap cigar with that. The Russell Reserve is a 10-year-old. Rye whiskey, which we've had around for a long time, is a great classic rye whiskey. Uh, and I'm also getting ready to come out with a single barrel Russell's Reserve, which will be a great product at 110 proof, non chill filter. Woo, you're kicking it up there, man. Now, anything over 100, you're talking about something back in Jamaica, you know, we have 100 and 110 proof. Uh -huh. So, that's that's um that's a pretty good one right there. Yeah, we want you to taste it at the barrel strength, basically, because that is the best form of tasting it. It's going to be smooth, it's going to be big and bold, and it's going to be a great smooth finish. And that's what I like with it. I've tried, I've had wild turkey several times, and the key thing is, there's still that taste. You, you can taste, you, there's a flavor. So you're actually enjoying it versus, you know, you're not spit fire clearing your throat. It's a great blend. Yeah, it's a great blend. Yeah, you know, it's a great recipe, a great flavor. You know, very complex uh, the flavors that you taste in wild turkey. So we want you to taste it like we taste it right out of the barrel. So that's what we're doing with a lot of our products. And when is um when is uh, the the baby coming out? You say you have a new release coming. When is that? Do you have an idea? Yeah, it's going to be the Russell's Reserve, the, the single barrel Russell's Reserve and 110 proof. Uh, that'll be the next thing I come out with. And then I'm working on a few other things, and hopefully I'll get out next year. All right, guys. Sayon Johnson, right here with Eddie Russell from Wild Turkey. You heard it here first. Stay tuned. All right? And I'm here in Atlanta at the trade show. Yeah, alcohol trade show in the middle of the day. It's 3 o'clock, and I'm over here at Diallo with Robert. Robert, what do you have in your hand right here? Because our cigar smokers would love 
to, you know, always want to try new stuff. What do we have here? Uh, right here is the ultra premium aged rum. This right here is rum to coffee. 98% is made from molasses base. This is actually made from the first press. And this is uh, heated up just enough to be condensed into a honey form, which we call virgin honey. And we take it 400 miles away, 8,000 feet in the mountains of Guatemala. We age it up there for the cool climate. The average temperature is 62 degrees, so you don't get a lot of the hard sanits from the barrels. Also, there's less pressure, so it ages slower, less oxygen, so you have less evaporation. And then we uh, first age it in bourbon barrels, charred bourbon barrels, ah. barrels, and then we finish it in Pedro Jimenez barrels. And then our master blender, Lorena Vasquez, one of five female master blenders, blends it in uh, a Solera system, which is an artisanal form of blending. Okay, so if you want to have something that just rich, full of flavor, and complex, this is what we're talking about. This is their own smooth but complex. But you're telling me that has a bigger brother. Yes. What, what is that? That right here is our Ron Zacapa XO, which this one... That's a um, Ron Zacapa. Yes. Ron okay. Zacapa, our XO, extra old. This actually goes through the same process. We use a different distillate. Uh, so basically we discard a lot more of the heads and the tails. And we age this the same way. Bourbon, charred bourbon, sherry barrels, Pedro Jimenez barrels, but we finish it in cognac barrels. And it's oh, still wow. done in that oh, blending wow. system. So you get a very complex amount of flavors, a lot more dried fruits, different spices, hints of chocolate. Now, how do you recommend that we have this, you know, with a cigar? Do I do I chill? I, I, I like I like mine smooth, you know, but I just like this one. It doesn't need anything. Just neat. There we go. There we go. Okay. Listen, Robert. Thank you very much. Once again, this is Seon from the trade show, alcohol trade show in the middle of the day, Atlanta. And by the way, we can get this here in Atlanta, am I correct? Yes, you can. Okay. Get it at uh, any one of the retail stores. If they don't have it, you can just ask for it. And uh, definitely, you got to try it with the cigar. And this is how Chris does it. This is how the lady from Fist does it right here in Atlanta. You are dancing Chris. to Fist. You love Chris. Here you go. I love Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is a party animal right here. Woo! All right. Oh, she touched me. She touched me. Okay. I don't know about this. Let me see. All right. Fingers crossed. Tell me about this. What, what am I having here? Um, this is Pisco. It's called Ready Love Pisco. That's the brand of Pisco. Pisco is a clear spirit that comes out of Peru. It's made from muscat grapes. The grapes are pressed into juice, made into wine, and then the Pisco is distilled from the wine. So this one is 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Okay, you heard it here first. So basically you have scotch, you have whiskey, you have rum. This is this is called Pisco, okay? That's that's a term, and then it's actually made out of Peru. And this is the brand. Stay tuned. This is Seon. I'm bringing a whole new line of everything right here in Atlanta. By the way, can I get this here in Atlanta right now? Okay, you can get this here. So stay tuned. I'll give you the website and you get more information. All right, so here we go. Okay, Eddie, which one is this for my friend? That's the Glendronic 12 year Glendronic 12. Okay, this is a Glendronic 12. All right. I'm going to see. All right, ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you right now, this is more like a, it goes with a mild cigar, a medium blend, and this is the 12. And here we have, we actually have the 18 the 15, and then the 12. So, what do we have over here? What are these three over here? We have Glen Rockets, and they're vintages. They're not ages. It's a vintage, like a wine. Okay. 
the difference between vintage and age with, with, is what? You can still you can still the taste and you bottle the taste. So the distiller says, this is what I'm looking for, bottle. Gotcha. You don't do it to get the age from the oak. The age, you get the taste, and then it's it could be a two-year-old or it could be a 15. The taste you're looking for. Ah, gotcha. Like All right, so there, you're educated, no problem. This is what we got going on. All right. So there you go. Hope you enjoy. There's a whole lot more where that came from. So stay tuned. Sayon Johnson, aka The Facilitator.